What's up guys, uh, this is Fit Liebman and uh, this, uh, pretty sure this is part 4 of the build. This I'm going to be going over the electrical, uh, many people find it pretty hard, but uh, I'm currently taking a class to uh, become a journeyman electrician, so it kind of comes at me pretty easy. Anyways, uh, I guess we'll start from where the power is coming in at. This is uh, a little sign I made there just for laughs, but uh, this is kind of dangerous. You don't really want to do this. This is only for testing. I've only done this just because I haven't been able to get my 30, um, 30 amp 125 volt RV inlet yet. I just got my neutral, my two hots, my ground plugged up in there. Got it running to a 125 amp uh, main panel box, which is uh, plenty of power I mean plenty enough you know to handle because I'm only running 30 amps into it the most the orange wire there that is a uh, 10 3 2 hots 1 neutral 1 ground and the rest I get the the other two one of the wires is running down to the box which I got a single pole feeding this light here that never gets hot and uh, it also feeds that receptacle the other one I have is a um, the other 14 too is coming down and it's going up to this receptacle up underneath there and the other one which is this one right here this is a 12 2 and that's going down and feeding the inside receptacles let me open this up real quick just got a little lock on it right now uh, yeah as you can see there's one up underneath there, just a regular receptacle. And I have a GFCI back here, which I just had that laying around and figured I could put that there for uh, air condition here. And, you know, if any water ever leaks in, it'd be good, you know, prevent, prevent any shocks. But uh, let me just stand up back over here. But yeah, guys, um, it's wired up pretty good. Uh, at the light, everything stapled, everything is wired to uh, NEC co code. My bad, shit. Can't say anything today. Uh, yeah, I got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8. 8 different receptacle plugins for 8 different appliances. Which, I mean, you're not going to be able to run probably eight different parasols off of it but it's enough you know to plug in lights and your phone and everything as you can see this is just the bed we have going up and probably gonna put a tv there and that's this is kind of why i put the receptacle there so i could always just drill a hole in here run the cord through and hook up to the tv but pretty much i already got the back back wall on yesterday so that's uh that's pretty much it for now guys that's uh part four thanks for watching